Getting motivated when you're not feeling it. Hi everyone. So it has been a challenging time. I am going through grief and yet I know I'm not the only one. We are in uncertain times. Lockdown in Victoria for another few weeks could potentially extend to stage four lockdown. So that, that brings uncertain times. And when we're in uncertain times and challenges, whether it's grief, whether it's losing jobs, whether it's facing personal challenges, it can demotivate us and derail us quite quickly. Um, and I'm finding that little routines are helping me. Um, it's so interesting to me, a little bit amusing to me that only a few months ago I was complaining to my partner about all the routines that I have and that I was looking for spontaneity. I kept saying, I'm so over this routine, I'm over this routine, I want some spontaneity. And here I am, having lost someone dear, and we are both finding that simply sticking to our routines are helping us get through. So it's interesting how you can kick against something and then it's those very things, those little things, those little routines that are helping me get through. But I do want to spend some time this week talking about the little ways we can re-motivate ourselves, re-energize ourselves and keep moving forward. And one of the things, the little things that I do simply to uplift myself at the moment is to actually be in this room. So you'll see this little picture. I'll move to the side there. You'll see the picture of the wall art of the beach. That's there because it uplifts my mood. I'm actually working in this room because there's a fair bit of sunlight that comes, natural light that comes into this room, but also because it's where I have this beautiful wall art, this beautiful wall art here of the island, the beaches of happier days of things that I know I love to do. So look out for the next little bit on how to stay connected and motivated, especially when you're not feeling it, when everything feels like a bit of a drag. <music>